Enemy dropping into the AO. I'm reloading! Three deployed. Well done. Resurgence is close. No more seconds on. Reloading! What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, so for today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best Warzone settings for any PCs out there, whether it be low end, mid range, or high end. I currently have a mid range, and as you guys saw at the beginning of this video, I was running everything on max settings, and I was getting about 50 to 70 FPS, which is not ideal. Obviously, I want more FPS, so that's why I'm gonna be showing you guys this optimization guide. You can use this video in order for you guys to have better frame rate. All right, so in your graphic settings, there are pretty much two main sections, display and quality. First things first, display mode, you're gonna wanna use full screen borderless. And then for restart shaders preloading, this setting is only gonna be used whenever you update your drivers or you reset your settings or in a really rare instance, you upgraded your GPU. Otherwise, there's no instance or reason for you to click this button. But like I said, since we are still changing our settings, we're only gonna restart at the very end. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, on if you are GPU bound, on post boost if you are CPU bound. So in my case, I am GPU bound, so on is the way to go. Custom frame rate limit, I recommend you limiting your FPS to your current uh, refresh rate, your monitor's refresh rate. So in my case, 165. And then pretty much everything else is really up to you. Quality is the biggest section when it comes to in-game settings. This is where your FPS is gonna be affected the most. So every setting is very, very important for you to double check. First things first, render resolution, keep this at 100. You don't wanna go beyond this. It's gonna start affecting your GPU. And if you go under, then your game is not gonna look as good or as sharp. Dynamic resolution off, upscaling and sharpening. Now there are mainly two routes, I would say. The upscaling route, which is NVIDIA DLSS, or if you have AMD, then AMD FSR 3 or just the regular regular sharpening fidelity fx cast that everybody uses i personally use fidelity fx cast at 100 it's just perfect for me amd fsr three frame generation now this does give you additional um, frames but it adds input delay so just not good ray tracing obviously this is what's going to eat up your frames so turn this off vram scale target 80 is generally good. Variable rate shading. Now this is a huge, huge setting that helps you with the performance. It doesn't sacrifice visual quality compared to dynamic resolution. So very, very good setting. Texture resolution, low. Texture filter, anisotropic. You could do this at normal, it's fine. And everything else is gonna be at the lowest setting. Turn everything off or put everything to the lowest setting as much as possible even on-demand texture streaming, optimized lowest uh, texture cache size, even put down limits, put it to one gigabyte here low, low as well, especially shadows. Shadows are gonna eat your frames like crazy. So anything that has to do with shadows or reflections, um, just lighting in general, turn everything down. All right, so now that's done. We're going to the next section, view. Field of view is really just personal preferences, 120. Some people like playing at 100. IDS field of view, don't change this. You change this to independence. Here, you're gonna just cook your, your aiming. Weapon field of view and vehicle field of view. Wide, personally, just makes things look nicer and cleaner. It makes your weapon look smaller. Motion blur, turn both off. And also movement. I wish there was a 0%, but there isn't, so 50% is the lowest setting. And yeah, like I said at the beginning, we're going to be restarting our shaders. So we are ready to close the game and restart our shaders. All right, and since we're also out of the game, we might as well also double check our settings. Go into gaming, game mode, make sure that game mode is on. Um, in display graphics, you're going to want to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling or HAGS. And also make sure that rebar is on. 
obviously make sure that your computer is up to date same thing for um, your nvidia or amd drivers just make sure that you have the latest drivers in terms of control panel for nvidia really the main settings that you should be checking is pretty much low latency mode make sure that this is on um, power management use maximum performance and uh, vsync off that's pretty much it you don't need to make things complicated now that we checked all of that we can go back into our game all right and the obvious make sure that you just wait for your shaders to preload i don't know how many times i've seen some people just start playing and then they say that their game is stuttering and things are not loaded in obviously you didn't preload your shaders so just wait for that all right shaders are preloaded at 100 percent now let's hop in in a game and uh, see what fps we're getting seems like we're getting about 120 20 fps it's almost like a 50 percent increase almost doubling your frames which is very very good this is more of like a competitive um standard so yeah Two guys here. Crazy. Reloading. All right. So I guess my video ends here. So if this helped you get more FPS or smoother gameplay, then uh, drop a like and also leave in a comment like how much FPS you guys are getting. Yeah. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao. ciao.